Atlassian just released a new feature for all you Gmail users. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your Gmail with your Jira so that you can create work items from within Gmail without ever having to leave Gmail. And so this is going to be a huge time saver if you're like me and work out of your inbox as your to-do list. This is going to change the game. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button and let's jump into it. First things first, you do need to install the Atlassian connector in your Gmail or Google Workspace. There are instructions. I'm gonna link an article down below, but there are some general instructions that basically walk you through the step. It takes two seconds, assuming you have the right permission. So we'll link this article down below that walks you how to get the connection started. Now, once you are connected, you're going to see this Atlassian icon on the right-hand side. And the first time you're gonna be prompted to connect. So I'm gonna click on this Atlassian logo. I'm gonna then click connect. You're gonna choose the website you wanna to connect to. Scroll down, click accept, log in with your email, and then you'll get a success message. Once you have that, you can close the window out, do a quick refresh over here, and we should be ready to go. So let's do that again. We're gonna click on the Atlassian logo, and now instead of hitting the connect, we now have the ability to review, manage, or create. And so we're gonna wanna create, and so it says select an email from your inbox to get started. So we're gonna open up this email right here, as you can see, this UI is changing for us. And so we can either create work items using the details in an email or find an existing one. We're going to create a brand new one. And this is going to use the body as a description, or you can use AI to generate the description. Let's just go with the body and see what happens there. So we get a pop-up that has the site already predetermined because we connected that. We now get to pick our Jira project that we want to put this in. So let's go with the platform one is okay. Then you get to pick whether you want to make it a story task or a bug or any of the other work item types that are inside of your Jira project. You can change the status, set the due date. The summary is already preset for you. You can fill out the rest of the fields however you want. But another one that's interesting is the description. It just takes the plain text of that email with the URLs and everything else, puts it in there for you. And again, fill out the rest of the fields, hit that create button. And then we're going to go over to Jira and see if it actually made it. So as you can see here, we get a success message. It looks like we can close this out. But before I close that window out, I'm going to click on that link there and it's going to redirect me to Jira. And so there you go. Now I can plan this particular task or story into my sprint. I can do whatever I need to do with it. But what I find very beneficial here is, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I use my inbox as my to-do list and gone are going to be the long list of emails that I need to go and take action on because I cannot just convert them into Jira work items and work on them and just pull them into the rest of the work that I'm working on. So saves me a ton of time and it's going to help me be much more accountable. So let me know down in the comment section, what do you think about this new feature? If you're a Gmail user, are you going to be enabling this feature? Let me know down in the comments. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like and we'll see you in the next one.